Hello everybody, thank you so much for being here. Let's talk a little bit about uh, this moon, this incredible full moon uh, happening in January on the 6th, uh, 2023. Uh, okay, so uh, we are now very well in Capricorn. I hope that you are having a wonderful time and I hope that uh, you've had some uh, nice festive activities and you also had time to meditate and to take care of yourself and your errands and uh, to look around the house at things that you have to do and potentially at things that need fixing because some of it is just about that and uh, maybe it's not very exciting and maybe it's not very extroverted uh, but uh, most of us might have to revisit some things your skin your hair, your body, your bowels, your breast tissue, your legs, your feet, your hands. Um, it's very important to see any symptom and understand it. We are going through a Cancer full moon. The moon loves Cancer. The moon loves being in Cancer as they are very well connected. And there's Pallas also um, in Cancer. So there is a nice sense of understanding. And there's Follis and uh, Capricorn on the other side and Hygieia. And yes, a retrograde Mercury and Pluto in the last degrees. So what I'm saying here basically is that we have to be uh, very cruel sometimes and very needingly safe and very conservative in how we attach meaning to some things. We have to be very careful with our lives we have to be very careful with meanings and results. And if you have anything, 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 you are nervous about any kind of symptom on your skin, any kind of symptom in your hair, anything that is happening in your gut, any kind of weird stuff happening uh, in your breath, if you are running out of breath, if you have heart palpitations, anything, please see somebody now. So uh, the worst thing is that I've already talked a little bit about this in January uh, video. There are sometimes things that can snowball and I'm seeing that uh, January is going to be one of those months that is preparing for a certain snowballing effect that is happening in February and end of January as we go into Aquarius and there are lots of people that are going to be under pressure so we don't want that to happen. There are very heavy planets, uh, Saturn and Pluto, lacing through uh, the energy of Aquarius. Um, there is a very, very deep and meaningful cherry glow. So um, there is need to know and there is need to be uh, paid or there is uh, payback also in some cases or there is uh, neediness and emotionality. And uh, quite a lot of also gain some people may have from uh, pushing on people. And maybe yes, in parts of the world there is like taxes or there is like other kind of nervous interplay. And then um, there are certain people that will have to pay karmic tax. So I don't think this is necessarily about everybody in the world. But we have to be very safe and very scrutinous with certain things. How much did you pay for this? How much did you get for that? What did you make out of this? How far did your business grow? And how far can you go with what you're manifesting? It's very, very important to get very safe and still and look that in the eye. It's important to look things in the eye. We have Mars going through uh, Gemini, the global eyes, in retrograde close to Sedna, very close to Sedna and Taurus. Um, so there is a feeling of being uh, denied and not being seen and all of this stuff. Just see it, see it, to believe it. It is very nice to go and have a scan. It's very nice to check your bloods. It's very nice to take certain measures and precautions to make sure that uh, you are not treated badly, um, that you are not one and the same also with other people that might be snowed under or scooped under certain uh, life circumstance also trying to get out of demonstrations demonstrations online fights behaviors anything political now 
getting out of any kind of societal inflammation, not participating in any kind of disorderly, rude or angry behavior simply because I feel some people might be put into a bunch and uh, that is a very bad place to be. So you don't want to um, have to suffer societal social karmas because you showed up at the march. Uh, that is not something that a lot of people might be uh, really uh, happy to hear um, if you're interested in marching or having some kind of uh, societal presence during this time. Uh, as yes, there is Mars and Gemini and sometimes where your friends are going is where you want to go. And what people say is the word, you think is the word, uh, mirroring and uh, monkey, my monkey see, monkey do type stuff. Uh, it's not necessarily monkey see, monkey do. It's just um, wanting to be like other people and then having to suffer the consequences. I talk a lot about um, Capricorn being a loner and being a uh, wise person or being a shaman or being the deep and um, the profound uh, magician because of a certain type of segregation, loneliness, or lack of uh, trust in things. You know, the scrupulous eye, like, I know this will happen. Like, I knew this would happen. That thing sometimes doesn't work, and sometimes it can uh, lead to obvious defects energetically also in people if they use that energy constantly, like this quiet, sort of on the sly, on the, on the, mm, on the low vibe, you know, that kind of feeling. But this is actually it. If you don't feel that mm, feeling, you're just like rushing and doing exactly what everybody else does, you may not uh, be able to believe uh, the safety you will need later. So like I feel that a lot of people rushing now and crushing others under their feet. Like right now I'm recording this during the boxing sale uh, craze on the 26th of December. People rushing, pushing. Uh, going for it, uh, all of this uh, anger, all of this uh, vulnerability, also this childishness could be uh, very easily put into perspective. So uh, there is a certain type of crime rate that can increase during this time. Uh, there is a question, you know, where did you put your credit card or did, you get, did your credit card get swiped to the shop? Um, the kind of fraudulent behavior is happening. I feel that rubber ear is incredible for fraud. Online fraud, credit card fraud, uh, broken in bank accounts, not something that I really enjoy talking about. But there is a feeling that we need to somehow shorten and uh, recognize things and understand the conversation that we do actually really want to have. And um, that is probably inside. And sometimes it is without loved ones. Uh, moon loves cancer. On the higher frequency, uh, things can really, really, really make sense at home. If you are a really, truly domesticated person, as obviously I am, I've been for a long time, I love the home. I love it. If you really love yourself at home, if you love planting plants, if you love taking care of certain uh, people or animals, if you love um, little insects that come visit, if you love the way you live, if you love it, if you love cooking, if you love taking care of yourself, um, this can really grow. Also, if you're eating a lot of fruit, your skin might be just bursting, bursting with beauty. If you are taking care of your hair, it might just be so shiny and glorious and you might suddenly have more of it. Uh, if you are taking care of your face, if you're taking care of your teeth, if you are very careful, if you know your remedies. Because you see, cancer is very, very karmic energy, but it's also very wow. Cancer can be very wow. Uh, regenerative therapies, uh, taking care of yourself, um, getting rid of parasites, getting rid of bacteria, getting rid of bugs, getting rid of funguses, like being clean, you know, having a perfect place to be, having perfect lukewarm temperature, having only the best, like listening to the best music, uh, sitting alone, enjoying your cup of tea, like enjoying the magic of the moment. It's sensitive. If you really like that, um, you can benefit a lot, but take care. Okay, so it's not just like, I look beautiful today, I need to take a photo of myself and post it all over social media. It's not like that. It's like, 
really love it it's like for example my child is doing so well you know or like my love is doing so well this is very very emotional and also for a lot of people not just women so it's for women and children just for a lot of people um, it's a very beautiful circulation of energy and yes in some families it is about tribalism and it's about a tribal past and sometimes there's memories and there's warfare there's hunger and there's grotty stuff and you know um, with the certain conflicts that are happening like say uh, with certain communities around the world and there could be a lot of strength given to those communities that have memories of who their ancestors were I raise my sword for my people you know that kind of thing uh, there could be a certain type of also economic revival in areas um, of life or certain type of jobs uh, that consider tribal traditional like say cooking methods uh, that take care of the house and the family uh, conditions to do with the home can improve for certain people that really take pride in themselves and they can really take care of other people caring loving and simple individuals benefit here and uh, it's important to see why sometimes somebody gets airtime, why sometimes somebody gets along or they get uh, a great promise or a big amount of money or like just a wonderful person in their life. And that's because there's a wholesomeness to it, you know, so it's like making batter. Batter um, is kind of like skin, like it's kind of synonymous to skin. Uh, batter uh, in a way like say making batter making pancakes making cakes making things also yeah out of clay it's a very very beautiful time to re-sculpt you it's a nice time to look at your posture a nice time to get bendy a nice time for yoga and therapies it's a very kind of womanly time and also for a lot of people that don't have anything and they keep on fighting or going against the grain it's lovely to be sedated it's loving it's luscious to calm down so that's where a therapist is good this is where massage is good this is where going to the hot springs is good amazing it's like um coming down and admitting that one just wants hope and peace Coming down and admitting that one just wants a hug sometimes. Uh, caring for each other. Uh, taking care, giving gifts. In certain uh, cultures, like the ancient Khmers, you know, say in um, Cambodia, you know, also, you know, in Thailand, there are certain cultures like that. Giving of gifts, you know, or like giving of offerings, you know, there's lots of different cultures are like that. Um, caring for each other, celebration of the moon. A celebration of the mother, a celebration of Gaia, fantastic. Uh, looking at the landscape, you know, looking at the trees or the snow, looking at how nature does what she does. Uh, if you are really challenged during this time, nature videos, you know, and sometimes things might make you cry. Like I watched this video about these little, these little animals, and I started crying because it was so sweet, you know, that kind of thing. So um, there is a feeling inside all of us that is also undeveloped, like uh, screaming, screaming fights, uh, wanting to run away from one's own results, uh, wanting to give other people a uh, bad name, wanting to visit uh, somebody who you don't even like or trust, uh, even in your mind having to have uh, essential emotional experiences with people outside of the home, cheating, lying, hurting each other, uh, wanting to run away, wanting to be against um, the father's line, against the mother, wanting to uh, do something unjust, wanting to burn down somebody else's projects, wanting to graffiti on somebody else's wall, you know, wanting to have an accident, wanting to experience karma, walking into the arms of danger, wanting to have harm done to oneself or another person that you're used to also uh, speaking badly to one's children, speaking badly about oneself or one's own children, 
or giving giving like a bad or like um, ironic response to somebody else's uh, timeline you know so giving like a uh, also maybe necessarily needed advice that is a little bit hurtful or burning it could be that some people administrating certain advice that is a little bit harsh or cruel has probably already started um, in the end of uh, 22 people have already been like look I'm not going to sugarcoat it look you've been bad or like this is this you know like people start doing this um, it's not uh, maybe needed but some people want to walk into not necessarily danger it's like um, using like venom to heal something or going through an extreme purge or having an erratic experience as part of their healing and that's going to massively increase all the way through January and uh, February so we don't want this to snowball um, like hurt so good the song oh let's not reference that stuff so like basically it's like pain as being kind of like a safe keeping also if you've been told off as a child if you've been burnt by your parent if you've been spanked or smacked around or if you yourself are looking for that in another you want somebody to diminish you or smack you around that isn't a good place to be so uh, passive aggressive behavior uh, sadism uh, stockholm syndrome passivity in a time of need passivity in a time of danger not answering the call not wanting to learn not wanting to know being afraid of the results being afraid that something happened to you once being unable to touch that trauma or that hard place inside is where you now maybe need to go and be for a while so if you're already noticing that you can tick some of those boxes that I've just listed, uh, it's a very wise call to have a look uh, maybe around your home, uh, what you can do inside your own environment, how you can fix things, how you can work things out. Um, everybody should probably really get in touch with themselves first and not think about their work or external presence because that's not the point. And uh, that may only be the point for people that don't know how to talk to themselves anymore if you are burdened abused and your senses are fully shut and your third eye isn't working um, maybe it is going to be about uh, work maybe it is going to be about building your online business maybe it is about taking better photos for instagram maybe it is other things like that um, that might be only for the people that are very nervous about that which is after all themselves I trust in this particular era of our development as a cosmos, as a universe, you know, not just a planet, it would be very, very nice and neat not to play with things indirectly. And I know now, like, quite a lot of people want to grow with um, myself and other people like myself because they think that they'll work something out. It's very important to go inside of you you know, some practical, so right now, like, joining cults, um, working with some kind of representation of Gaia, you know, like, say, uh, I don't know, um, Alma, or Teal Swan, or, um, I don't know, what other female leaders, or male leaders they are, uh, it's not a good idea to walk with any kind of feminine or masculine representation of the divine, or of the knowing person, because you simply won't get anything out of it. This is where things have to stop. I feel that a lot of people have to stop uh, watching YouTube and waiting for certain things to happen there and start to address their actual everyday life. And um, usually meditation and contemplation and inwardness, especially during Capricorn, is such an important portal for so many of us. And also having a cry or having a seek, um, having to feel having to acknowledge and having to go through certain feelings and realizations is probably the only way to go you know even though I understand like some may say oh great go get a beauty treatment go get yourself a voucher for a massage room or play with your friends I don't know get another family member involved it's not hard to go there yourself you know like it's like you're sitting there alone it's evening and just uh, walk yourself out of these emotional insecurities 
that is not just about that. Um, it's like you can do the work now that you've got prepared for rabbit year. And you can do it in a day. Uh, that which will otherwise reoccur. So I'm seeing a snowballing of certain people's diseases and mental illnesses and states of humiliation by February's end is going to be probably over, but for a certain type of person it's going to continue throughout their life. So it is very important to get real. It's like, you guys, I'm not joking about this anymore. Like, this is happening, you know, like, all that's happening. It's like, getting real, like having to go through one's own emotional landscapes and uh, sensitivities. And sure, there is a type of tribe or a therapist or even a masseuse or a healer or doctor or nurturer that can help you, but that's not it. That's just not it. That's not it. Sometimes you won't be able to get there until, no, you have to go through it. Okay. Um, so, shortcutting this. Uh, it feels like people have to face who they are now. And uh, with uh, so much hurt and pain and uh, strange things happening on this planet, and they've been help uh, helping as well, but they, they've been happening for like such a such a long, long time. It's like we have to all take responsibility over our own hurts and pains and mistakes. Mm. Unless, you know, even if you can't help it, you're like, what do you mean? I got a tumor. I can't get it out myself. Even if you've got a tumor, um, how did it grow in the first place? You know, and I know maybe not a lot of people will hear me because there seems to be always a person for a job, especially in Capricorn. Um, but it feels like um, we need to get our sanity back uh, by basically doing things for ourselves. And the lunar wisdom here is not just about home and joint bank accounts and families and getting squishy and tight and kind and homely together. It's not about being family friendly uh, exactly. It's just about um, growing into a uh, conscious, more finessed, and sleek version or simple well-designed version of who you are and really caring and creating on a uh, very very wide stretch from where you were before you know so this is like being exact you know now you know being very conscious now you don't get to just like skip school now you know you don't get to miss the homework you don't need to um, worry about that either. It's just um, people are so pretentious, they've pretended that they also knew everything all along and they never did. It's just like a very, very crazy world out there with um, so many people blindfolded and not actually able to see the normal, true and simple things and um, other things that also are and could be happening now in the world. So um, how can I say this? I mean the future is yours. Uh, I think that a lot of people have to start studying themselves and nature uh, to really figure out their way. And I also have a uh, sentiment uh, that we will not really be in a good place as a people, as, as a species, if, uh, as a people, if uh, we don't take responsibility into our hands, at least of our own bodies and minds. And if we still uh, keep on blaming other people and holding others accountable for the evil or the, the bad that is in this world. Uh, so may maybe it is very, very important here to uh, start really listening and taking care of that which is yours to listen to and take care of now so that you don't have to um, go through certain um, garbage later on in life. So this is your choice how you do it. I feel that um, this kind of difficult and pressing time between January and February 2023 uh, can be put into a very nice, neat and uh, kind perspective should we all just take responsibility uh, now. So thank you very much. Please have a look at my Patreon. I have 12 videos for every sign. Have a look at my book for the year 2023. Have a look at my website um, and if you like you can also get a reading uh, i can help though i do definitely uh, definitely would i definitely would suggest 
uh, to take the responsibility of uh, your own health and vibration and start to get strong because we're going for some very very uh, strange times for most people and it is very important to strengthen uh, the body especially the body the mind and the spirit uh, to be able to take uh, care of ourselves and our loved ones for many 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 years to come so uh, thank you very much enjoy and i hope to see you next time